Welcome to the Garage Door Centre. This is the showroom in Wellingborough and I'm going to give you some key facts about the sectional garage door. You can have them in manual or automatic. This would be where the handle is for a manual sectional door onwards to the automatic. This one works automatically. When you choose to have a sectional garage door with automation, you get two handsets inclusively with each order. Every sectional garage door has an off-white stucco effect on the inside. And I'm going to show you one section. This is the off-white effect of the inside. Each section is this tall and the standard sectional garage door is 40 millimetres thick. That's the usual thickness and that's how insulated they are. The inside is polyfoam, the outside is double skinned steel. Let's bring this one down again for you and we'll talk about the finishes. First of all, I'm going to show you the safety edge. So, that can't hurt your animals, your children, your car, your lawnmower. Let's bring it down. This one has a single line running through it. This one over here, no lines. So as you've seen, you can have the finishes in either a wood grain, Georgian, you can have no rib and a mid rib, and you can have more than one rib. So it's called a plank effect, if you like, it's S rib. And in any of those colors, in any of those styles, you can have colors. So you can have all of these standard ranges, but you can also have the rowel of your choice. So a European color powder sprayed to your choice. Anything you would like to choose from the Ralph shades which are available to you all on the internet. Now I'm going to show you the contents of the double skin seal sections and how the automated door can be released in case of power failure from the inside and from the outside. So in we go. This is the standard thickness you can go thicker but we're looking at this one and this is the poly filling that you would get now looking up at the ceiling this is the motor that we have in use on this particular sectional door now i'm going to close the door every door comes with two handsets as well as the ability to open and close on the controller box and there is an LED light that works when the door is in use and for a moment after it's finished as well. Now let's assume you've had a power cut and you want to get your car out or your lawnmower. Pull this and the door is free so we can lift it. If you haven't got another access into your garage, then you can have a release on the outside of the garage door as well as on the inside, which is standard. So what happens is we insert one of these into the top panel of your garage door and it enables you to release that um, red pull that I just showed you from the outside. And then you take your keys out, of course. And now the power's back and you want to start using your motor again. So we press the green button and it's engaged. And now I'm going to open it. Off it goes, engaged. Now this brings me on to the ways that we fit these doors depending on the shape of your brickwork in your house, your opening. Assuming this is your wall, if you have a minimum of 100 mil here, these guides can sit easily fit onto the back of the opening. The best way to fit these is onto the back. So we fit each side 
and across the top on the back. This is on the back. You can have matching guides, as this one has. We can also fit them between, so walking over to the other area of our showroom in a moment, I'll show you how we fitted between the opening. So off we go. This one is fitted between, but with a frame. So here's your brickwork, which is trimmed, and this is between the opening. And this is an example of a navy blue door with no rib on each panel. 